Hi guys, Daniel here. So if you've got a problem with your tap water, coming up with the Moni readings, I've got the answer just for you. So hang out and let's do this together guys. Don't panic, we're going to work this out. Hi guys. Now let me tell you what happened. I bought a new tank, this one here, five foot tank. I had an old tank, I took out the old canister filter that I had attached to the tank and I set it up with this one thinking, okay, I'm gonna carry all the beneficial bacteria, it'll cycle straight away, I won't have to worry, I won't have to wait for months because of the media inside it has all the biomedia with all the good beneficial bacteria. Now, I've got, I've got 17 fish in this tank. They're all, they average about two inches each, 17 of them. And after about a week, I did my work, I did a water test and a water change and it was all okay. Like the ammonia was very low. So um, I didn't really worry about it too much. And then all of a sudden I got boom, I had this ammonia spike. And it, oh, sorry. I had this ammonia spike and it was really, really high. Like it ended up being between two and four parts per million. Now, before it got to that stage, I was adding a bit of prime to neutralize the ammonia. But I, I really thought that having the canister filter there would cycle the tank instantly and I wouldn't have to worry about ammonia at all. Because my old tank that I got the filter from was cycled. But anyway, to my distress, I did a water test and it came back, like I said, between two and four parts per million. Now, the with the API Fresh Water Master Test Kit, ammonia is meant to be yellow and it was dark green. It was really dangerous. Like, thankfully, if I didn't have Prime, you must get Prime. Everyone out there must get Prime in case you do get an ammonia spike. My fish would all be dead now. All 17 of them will be dead. At four parts per million, that's dead. So what I did, I got my, I did a water change. I was told not to do a water change, but anyway, I did one anyway. And my goodness, boy, did I pick up a lot of debris from the bottom. I don't know where it all came from. It couldn't have all been poo and food, but it was everywhere, everywhere. I did a water change. I added a whole bunch of stability, which is a, something that you'll need as well if you want to cycle your tank, stability without having to wait weeks. But anyway, to the point of this story, I filled up the tank with water from my tap that was 0.5 parts per million ammonia. So it's already a deadly level of ammonia straight out of the tap. They say that anything above 0.25 is dangerous to your fish and my tap water was 0.5. Super, te super toxic, super dangerous. So um, anyway, I'll let you know how I got through it, guys. So um. I tested the water in another tap. I had the same results, 0.5 parts per million ammonia. I went outside and test. I went outside my block of units and tested the tap on down on the bottom level, like what miles away from my unit. Same exact same results, 0.5 parts per million ammonia, and that's deadly enough to kill fish. So without the without the prime, my fish would be in cactus. So you must get prime. You fill the water up, fill the tank up with your with your um crappy, shitty tap water. You put prime in or put your fishies in. You dose prime every day, double dose it every day at that, those sort of levels. And I had the, the uh, canister filter plugged in and it wasn't making any difference. And I was adding the, the, um, the um, Seacom um, stability, it wasn't making any difference. When I did a test, it, it came up with four parts per mil three to four parts per million ammonia, no nitrites, very little nitrates and th this is yesterday guys like we're talking about 30 36 hours ago and this is how i got through it guys so the key is to add add your um your stability plenty of stability you need that bacteria in there now i added it and i thought it isn't working at all it's not doing anything when yesterday evening when i before i did the water check water change i tested it and it didn't seem like the bacteria did any difference at all I still had no nitrates, very low nitrates, and my ammonia was, was, seemed to be getting higher and higher. So I did another water change. 
I, I siphoned up all the gravel, a lot of rubbish came up, a lot of debris came up from the, the water change. And then I woke up this morning and I did a water test and it came up with zero parts per million ammonia overnight, literally overnight it went from four parts per million to zero parts per million and when I tested it this morning it had zero ammonia it had, let me see if I can get this right 0.5 parts per million nitrites and it had very little nitrates and then six hours later again just before, like literally a couple of hours ago I tested it again and it came up with zero parts ammonia zero parts nitrite and 10 parts per million nitrates, which means that this, the aquarium had cycled in less than 24 hours. Incredible. Incredible. But I would not have been able to have done it without prime. You need prime and you need stability. Cecum stability, which is a beneficial bacteria. So, like I said, it'll actually happen faster than what you could think it would. Like, I, I've, I've, I've read stuff online saying that, you know, it takes weeks to months to cycle your aquarium. The only thing I can attribute it to is the, the cecum stability that I added, the beneficial bacteria that I added. I added a whole lot of it. Like I said, like I did a couple of water changes in the, during the day, and it went from, the water column went from being four parts per million to zero, literally overnight, over the course of a couple of hours. So, once it's cycled, you don't have to worry about the ammonia. You can do small water changes every fortnight or every month, depending how, how stocked your tank is. And, um, yeah, you do your minor water changes and your beneficial bacteria should be able to cope with it. Now, what I'm thinking, the reason it happened so quickly for me, I think, is because I had so much debris in the water column, in the, in the gravel, sorry. I had so much debris that the ammonia levels... The, the beneficial bacteria that consume the ammonia levels sort of started working and then when I did the gravel the gravel vacuum all of that debris has gone but the beneficial bacteria remained so it, it chomped up the remaining bacteria literally overnight guys so that, that's the key beneficial bacteria and make sure you've got a clean gravel gravel bed like I said I was amazed by just how much rubbish came up from the gravel I wasn't like everywhere I seemed to go there was more coming up more coming up and I wasn't even overfeeding the fish as far as I thought I thought that all the food that I gave them had been eaten or at least the vast majority of it so I don't know if it was all poop or whether it was also poop and deb food debris I really don't know but um so I hope this helps guys originally like when I first got this tank before I had the high readings for ammonia in my tap water I thought, yeah, no worries, you know, I don't even care about having a cycle tank. I'll just do a 25% a, uh, a, uh, water change every fortnight and my aquarium will be clean. But I wasn't expecting to have such dirty water come straight out of the tub. So I need to have my aquarium cycled now. So yeah, I'll let you know if um, anything changes in the progress of my tank. At the moment, it's zero nitrites, zero ni um, ammonia and... 10 parts per million nitrates so I don't even need to do a water change again to my surprise so alright guys so hopefully this has offered you some help and some hope because I know I was, I was thinking of buying big containers from my hardware store where I could store li um, water from my parents house drive it down I was going to buy 10 20 litre buckets not buckets containers that I was going to fill up and drive them down put my seats down and drive as much water here as I could and that would have been a recipe for disaster because you know I'd have to do that every week and that's just not really sustainable so thank God thank God that I woke up this morning and my tank was half cycled and then a few hours later the nitri the nitrites were gone as well and it's fully cycled guys so let me know if this video helps you let me know how you go on your journey if you are having high tap water readings let me know if my advice has been of assistance. I really want to know, and I think all the others that watch this video would like to know how you got through having high ammonia in your tap water. Alright guys, thanks for hanging around and watching. Bye!